let's make apple pie empanadas. So I got this recipe from my beautiful friend on here, Cuban Culinary Journey. I'll be tagging her in the video so you guys can go check out her page. She made her apple pie empanadas with dulce de leche. Today I'm just gonna be making them with the apple filling. So let's get started. So the first thing I did was start by peeling three pounds of apples. Just went ahead and peeled them and set them to the side. This process was a little bit tedious, but so worth it in the end, I promise you. Next, I went ahead and chopped up the apples into bite-sized pieces, and I went ahead and threw away the core. If you guys have an apple core, go ahead and use that. I don't, so I just chopped them up into bite-sized pieces and threw them in a bowl. They don't have to be perfect, just make sure that your pieces are bite-sized pieces so they can fit inside the empanada. Next, I went ahead and transferred my apples into a larger bowl, which I realized I need a even larger bowl than that. I went ahead and covered them with two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice, two thirds cup of sugar, and a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I did leave out the nutmeg in this recipe. Then I went ahead and combined all my ingredients together, made sure that all the sugar and all the cinnamon and the lemon juice coated the apples evenly. And then in a large frying pan, I went ahead and started to melt down a quarter cup of unsalted butter. Once the butter was melted, I went ahead and added in my apple mixture. I did have my heat set to a medium heat, and then all I did was toss my apples around, give them a good stir, and then once this started boiling, I just let it simmer for about two to three minutes. Then I did turn my heat down to about a medium low, I covered it and I just let it simmer there for about 10 minutes until my apples were nice and cooked and soft and just perfect. And if you know me, you know that apple pie has to be one of my all-time favorite desserts, Ooh, especially with a scoop of vanilla ice cream on the side. The next thing I did was take a strainer with a bowl under it to catch the juices and then I went ahead and put my apples in the strainer to separate the juice. Then I put the juices back into the frying pan and I brought them to a boil and I just reduced them until the sauce thickened up. At this point, I went ahead and added the sauce back into my apples and I mixed them all up and we were ready to start filling our empanadas. I used these Goya empanada shells that Cuban Culinary Journey put me onto. I am obsessed. They come with the separators and I was very happy about that. I also lined a baking sheet with some parchment paper and here, here I am showing you the separators. I love them. They don't stick to each other. I did roll them out just a tiny bit. I didn't use any flour or anything like that. And then I went ahead and used a tablespoon of filling in each, roughly a tablespoon. Some were more full than others, but I just used that spoon that you see in the video. And then I turned them over and I pinched all the edges with my finger. Be careful that your nails don't perforate it, but I did pinch all the sides and then I tried a new way of folding it. I always used a fork before, but Cuban Culinary Journey did suggest that I fold it in just each piece on itself. You'll see, you'll see what I mean. And I'm so happy I did it this way. It looked so much cleaner, so much neater, so much more like out of a bakery. And I will for sure be doing this moving forward. Once I had all 12 of my empanada shells filled, I beat one egg and then I just brushed some of that egg wash over each one of the empanadas. This is gonna help you get that golden brown color that you want. Then I took a sharp knife and I made two slits on the top of each empanada to let the steam out while they bake. Lastly, I sprinkled some turbinado sugar over the top. And into the oven they went at 375 degrees for about 25 minutes. trying them they're completely cooled now because mm -hmm. they were super hot they're super crispy Ay, que ricura. Mira esto. this reminds me of a mcdonald's apple pie my son already broke into one mm -hmm. better than a mcdonald's apple pie delicious make them Mom, this needs to go. Someone needs to take this away from me because I will eat the whole thing. 